a farewell. Biggie boy. Well, congratulations. How are you feeling? Thank you. I feel great. Did the fight go the way that you had expected it to, or were there some adjustments you had to make in there? Um, yeah, the fight go the way I expected it to go, except um, I didn't think I didn't think it's gonna t- it will take that long. Like he had a big head, strong head. Let me say that I had a strong head, and eventually we still got the job done. But it takes longer than we thought. There was some confusion, I think, from the viewers about what was happening, you know, between or at the end of the fourth round. Did you know what was happening? Could you hear what was happening? Can you tell us what you saw and what you heard? Yeah, I noticed that because the third round, I already saw that I kind of broke him. So he was kind of giving up. He was late reacting, too late of the jab. So I was in there, you know, um, stick to the game plan. Uh, I was setting traps. He, he, he didn't really go for it, but... Uh, I noticed that. What did you think of him overall as an opponent? I definitely think he's a great opponent, mm, a strong guy. Um, as, as we all are, you know, um, after a defeat, you're going to see a lot of things you could have do different. You can work on a lot of things. So I definitely think he should go home, work on his game, and come back stronger. And, and, and yeah, hopefully it will get good for him. You know, we're all fighters. One, somebody has to win. So. What did you think about fighting at this time of day? And it was a little different. Um, the fight's being over. But it's not even dark outside yet. Did you like that, or did it affect you at all in any way? It didn't affect me. It's like it's the same mission. Um, it's only a different time. You got to uh, f- uh, set your 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 time better. Like for an example, my meal. Uh, I woke up like 5 a.m. Get my first meal. Uh, go back to bed. Wake up at 8. Get my second meal. And my last meal was like around 10. So I know, like, that's how I'm supposed to set my, uh, fix myself to get ready for the fight. What are you eating before a fight? Just curious. Uh, I like uh, pasta, dry uh, pasta with tom- um, it's tomato sauce, a bologna, sorry, meatballs. So a little bit dry on the dry side, and then because <clears throat> that, that burns fast. So about five times, I'm a little bit hungry. So, like, now I'm really hungry. <laughs> Where are you going to go eat now? I don't know. I see one of my coaches eating there, so I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to join him in a set. <laughs> so who do you want to fight next, and when would you like to fight next? When would I like to fight next will be close July, August. And who I want to fight, you know what it is? I never say a name because then when that person doesn't got time to fight, then you're stuck out of the game. So that's why I never called someone out. But there's a couple of names that I didn't face yet. For an example, Taito Ifasa, Derek, um, Sergei Spivak. Uh, as someone, someone else, Tom Aspinall, name it. They're all there, but I never call someone out because I don't want to wait on their time. So I want to be in shape, come back, who's available, let's get in. That's more for me. Let's pretend the UFC came to you and gave you those four, let's say those three names. Let's take Tom out because I think that'd be obvious you'd want to fight for the title. Yeah. Who would you fight out of those mm, three? All, all of them, like any one of them. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. Congrats on the win, Biggie Boy. Thank you. Just and kind of to piggyback off of Amy's idea, and we're brainstorming here. In a couple of weeks, you have that main event with Tai Tuivasa. You know, to more you do you stay in shape? Do you stay kind of hovering around to say, you know, in case they needed somebody to step in there, uh, you know, Biggie Boy's ready. If they give me a peek, I definitely stay ready. Like you know, <clears throat> I like the sound of that. So so I'll make sure I'll be ready. So if they need somebody else, I'll step in. You've had the experience with being on main events. You, you can, you've shown people you can go 15, 20 minutes, 25 with Overeem. Tonight we saw almost another 25. How proud are you just of your, just the, putting everything together, regardless of the layoff, your game planning, your conditioning, you know, getting better with your wrestling? And it showed tonight. No, I'll say, I'll never say I'm proud of myself yet, but my coaches probably say it a million times now because I've been putting the work in, uh, my cardio, you know, go to the gym, do what I have to do, make the necessary adjustments. But I'm always like, I'm a fighter that I'm, I'm, I'm hard to myself, so I always think like, hey, I should do a little bit more. And, and tonight was a great work, but I definitely think I could do better. 
Give me one thing that you can do better in. Like, what's the one thing right right out the gate you saw, you got in the back, you talked to your family, and you're like, ah, I missed that. That's I, I should have got that one. I'll go to wrestling classes every day. <laughs> yeah, I think wrestling more, because wrestling is, it's, <clears throat> for me, it's not like um, you be wrestling and then you got it or nobody got you taken down and then you got it. No, it's you got to be do it consistently. Uh, feel being in the bad position, get back up, and you never had the blood pressure, it's never the same. So if you stop, you'll be at zero again. So you gotta keep doing it consistently so you can be at the level that you can get taken down, get back up, and you can able, you'll be able to strike and then go. So that, that's more for me. Fantastic. We saw your jab tonight, probably the best weapon. I mean, you were just you know sticking, 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 just kept that stick in his face. Do you think people will try to immediately say, oh, I'm going to put him on the ground so that he can't knock me out. So you really have to maybe mix it up with the wrestling and the grappling and the jiu-jitsu to really put everything together, be a complete fighter for the guys who don't want to bang with you. That's correct. I've been living that for the, the, the past five years, you can say, since I've been in the UFC. People try to take me down because they're scared that I'm going to knock them out. Um, but it's part of the game. So I'm developing my game. You know, today was a, piece of the, uh, today was a, a part of the puzzle pieces uh, that I put together. Um, now, right now, I'm gonna take a couple of steps back, go back home, recalibrate, reconnect back with Suriname, uh, my real power source, and then <clears throat> I'll come back uh, soon. As I mentioned, July, August, I will like to be back in the octagon. That's excellent. And just you know, shout out to that. The, the puzzles coming together, and, and at the highest level too, also being the main event. So you're getting that edge that other fighters might not have to be on the poster, the 25 minutes, all the media. You had a beautiful moment with, with some family. Who was that? It was so, everybody was so proud. Was that mom, auntie, with the flag? What happened there? That's a friend of mine. It's also the Consul General of Suriname. So he always fly out to see my fight and he support me <clears throat> from every kind of way. So today that was a part of that. That is excellent. Well, no congrats problem. on the big win. Lots of light out. Enjoy Vegas and well done, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. You, you talk about the work you've been doing for your wrestling defense. You know, definitely that jab was hurting him. You could see where he wanted to try to go for some takedowns to get away from that. But you shut him down every time. Could you tell this frustration? And could you tell that he was kind of feeling a little bit lost because he wasn't able to go to that takedown? Yeah. Uh, I, felt, I felt like I broke him, like, after the third round. He was start getting slow and caught him off guard every time with that jab. So I know exactly what I, what I needed to do to keep the fight going the way I wanted to go. So he, he tried to control me on the cage, and then he was hanging there. And it's like, he's close to me, so I feel the energy, I feel the heavy breathing, and I wasn't that tired. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me see what's happening. Put a couple of knee, hit him a few times with the backhand, on, uh, like, like close to the cage, I was hitting him in his nose. And I saw that he wasn't really reacting. Yeah. So when I get off the cage, start uh, hitting him back with the jab, and then, yeah, eventually the fight got, got where it got to. Did, was the was the jab the big uh, sorry the jab a big part of the game plan? Did you know that the jab would be so effective tonight on him? Without jab, no glory. It's always it's always a part of the game plan. With a jab, you can do so many things. You can set your distance. You can you can knock someone out with a jab. I did it in the past. You can yeah. With a, without jab, no glory. That's that that's the the real talk of fighting. I mean, I, if you had to rate yourself, I know right now you probably didn't have the chance to look back at the fight, but, you know, fighters tend to be a little bit hard on themselves. But what would you rate your performance? And I know you said you wanted to get him out of there, but when you look back on this performance, where would you rate yourself? If, if, if an A is a passing grade, you know, A is the best, B is a passing grade, C is like, A, I need, I, there's some work to do. What would you grade yourself tonight? I will say a C. Yeah, really? I got much work to do, you know, so I will say a C, and then I go, uh, or a B, I think a B, yeah. Uh, <laughs> my coach saying no that's not true but you know I'm hard on myself so I always will rate it lower so I work harder and then <clears throat> the victory will be nicer that being said I know you wanted to get a, a quick finish but there were, it seemed like there was some maturity and experience in there too because there were points where you heard him and it, I think maybe the old jersey you know, would have rushed in there a little bit but you kind of held back a little bit and made sure that it was effective you know was that is that part of you just maturing in the sport that you don't rush in there too fast and he's obviously very dangerous you don't want to catch something but is no. that just part of the experience that you're getting in there so what i want to say you just mentioned the old jersey you <clears throat> right now is the new era i have more experience now um i ran i ran in the past i ran to a couple of walls so me and my coaches work on my game plan work on my style so we we're not in a rush anymore so if it's there we are able to finish it 
but we always been there, have athletic system, have the cardio, so we can get the fight where we wanted to go, dictate the pace as today. So right now we're focusing on that and be more, be more flexible. Yeah. Well, I was going to say maybe it's part of that too, but you could definitely tell you did the work on the cardio as well because you look like you had the cardio and the stamina all the way through. Has that been a big focus of the, in the camp leading up to this as well? Yeah, as well. Uh, I always have a good stamina, I have to say. Sometimes people say I look tired, but I don't feel tired, you yeah. know. But um, today was a part of that, but more or less was more my footwork, get my half movement, read the fight better. So I understand MMA better, I can say now. So <clears throat> tonight was a, good, was, a good, was a good performance, yeah, overall. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, go back home, get some good food, <laughs> maybe a beer. Uh, that's it. Yeah, um, just chill. Maybe two. You get. You can have two. Maybe too much. Uh, <laughs> I'll be good about it. <laughs> now I think one is fine. Yeah. Congrats on your victory. Thank you, sir.